Okay, so let's open her up. And you can see I've got the deluxe, which means I've got the pockets. I love the little scalloping that Jennifer Harvey does. Again, really beautiful stitching. Um, this is, I believe, an American Dream Deluxe. I get confused sometimes with the Black Beauty, but I have, because I have that too. Um, but anyway, this is really a beautiful piece by Jennifer Harvey Chic Sparrow. And I use washi tape with a subway theme. It's going to be my New York and New Orleans journal. I'm not sure what else is in here. I'll be surprised when I go through. But those are some of my favorite places. I grew up in Northport, New York, and I love New Orleans. So let's see, let's open her up. I use my silhouette for the tabs. And throughout this, I'm using all sorts of different um, paints and things for the background. So you'll see a combination of gelatos and some uh, pencils, some watercolor. This is my hometown, Northport, the harbor. This picture is actually very special to me. It was made by an artist that I was really um, fond of that would come to where I worked, a little deli at the barn. And um, I have two of his paintings, one's of the harbor and one's of the, of the barn. So a little bit of Northport again, you can see the backgrounds. And I, you know, as I went to New York, Times Square, I'm using just little, you know, um, ephemera that you pick up and little brochures and things in your travels, little takeout menus. And I'm putting them in and then I'm sticking, you know, stickers around again, more of my little tabs just to have fun with it. And it's really like a scrapbook. I can also add pictures. Um, I just haven't done that for the video. But you get the idea here, um, subway maps. <laughs> I love the Tenement Museum. It's where my grandfather grew up, down in the Bowery. And I've done a number of tours. I'm actually a supporter of the museum. So a little plug for the museum. I highly recommend if you're in that area to do a tour. I just did the food tour about three weeks ago and it's really great. I don't think I've had cream cheese like that in my life. It was really delicious. So more um, cutouts, brochures, some stickers just really a nice little scrapbook. And again, you can kind of see how the background peeps through. I cluttered it up a little bit, so you can't really appreciate the backgrounds too much. This was a 9-11 memorial. I was actually there this year on 9-11. Um, very sad, very, very sad, but we are rebuilding. We're a resilient people. Uh, more New York. This again is um, more Northport, downtown Main Street. And you're gonna, I've talked about these in different videos, the little Etsy, States um, paper clips. I absolutely love them. I think they're super fun, but they fall out because they're too high. So then I just stick them in and they're never in the right place. So if you're like, that's not the right state, you're probably right. More Northport, the barn where I used to work. Let me get into New Orleans. And New Orleans is just vivid jazz, food, drinking. So I played with some brighter colors um, and contrast it with some of the black and white of some of the local artists. I picked up different postcards. Oh, and this was really beautiful. I've had this a really long time. Um, probably one of my first trips to New Orleans, I came across uh, this poem, The Strength to Face the Day, and it's really, really beautiful. And um, on the back, you know, it's by Charles E. Garrison, a poet of New Orleans. So they have, you know, different poet societies and so forth. And um, this really talks about, you know, just hope for a brighter day and uh, really, really beautiful. So of course I had to go on a sunny uh, page, a picture of St. Mary's. Then some fun, of course, the garden district, you you know, have to check out Creole Creamery. Love that ice cream, super fun. Beautiful estates in the garden district. Um, beautiful restaurants, really, really good restaurants on Bourbon Street, and uh, I think when people think bourbon, of course they think Mardi Gras and debauchery, and I have to say there's some of the best gourmet restaurants in that area, Redfish Grill being one of them. I highly recommend. I'm gonna keep kind of going through. The courtyards of New Orleans are beautiful. Oh, and the New Orleans School of Cooking. All the cooking classes are really fun there. I just um, had a cooking class with Miss Anne. She's the lady that won like the Grandma Challenge on Food Network, super fun. And I've done, you know, the Quarter Two Sisters for brunch, Jackson Brewery. Again, I'm playing with watercolors. And this is actually, I think these might be, I don't know if these are watercolors actually or delusions, but, or a pencil actually. Actually, this could be the Juwan ink pencils now that I look at it. But I also did acrylics, 
just different backgrounds throughout. And again, playing with um, the Florida Lee, you see them all over New Orleans. Actually, I bought more to put in. I just haven't added them to this journal yet. I'm not sure how I would add them. This book's kind of stuffed. So I'm sure I'll be going to New Orleans again this year and I'll just save it for that journal. Again, I love the art of New Orleans. At the flea market, you'll see all sorts of postcards and that's really a fun way to scrapbook. You know, it's fun to take pictures too, of course, but the postcards and the art really capture and show a different side of New Orleans that you might not be able to get with your camera phone. <laughs> um, map, more art, kind of get the idea. Let me go through. Brennan's, um, the Brennan family has a number of restaurants in New Orleans. All of them are very tasty. You can go to Commander's Palace uh, for their jazz brunch. Very, very good. Okay, uh, Jackson Square, Pat O'Brien's famous hurricane drink. I think I have the recipe here coming up too. And I love that I was able to get like a really fiery background. So hopefully you can see that. Cafe Du Monde with their beignets and their chicory coffee. Really, really fun. Um, don't miss that if you're in New Orleans. Actually, I would recommend taste testing a few places for their beignets. Um, Cafe Du Monde is really wonderful. Cafe Beignet is really wonderful as well, usually less crowded. Uh, so have a good time with that. The Gumbo Shop, I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but um, I have an, on good authority, a bartender, that a lot of places in New Orleans actually buy the base for their gumbo and then doctor it up. So I don't know if that's true, but I have to say, you will not be disappointed with the gumbo shop gumbo. <laughs> More about the, um, the courtyards. Muriel's has a seance room. It's really fun. Oh, and Virgin Saints Angels jewelry is all over New Orleans. I have a few pieces, really beautiful. Um, St. Louis Cathedral, I go every, Time I'm there to church on Sunday. Again, New Orleans Cooking School, and uh, that's a really, really funny thing. You see Steve Harvey with Miss Anne. Again, New Orleans. Different backgrounds. Have fun with your backgrounds. It really helps make the book. It pops, you know. And um, I still have room to journal if I want to just fill in here. The uh, the steamboat that you see in New Orleans. And I did a Hurricane Katrina tour a while ago. I've gone to a couple museums that have Hurricane Katrina information from 2005. Um, very sad, very, very sad, uh, devastating storm. I did the Roosevelt Hotel this last December and I have so many beautiful pictures from there. A little tip for me to you, if you're around the New Orleans area, around the holidays, go to the Roosevelt Hotel lobby for free and take pictures and make it your Christmas card. It's so, magical. I highly recommend that and it's free to walk through it. Some of the stores I love, um, Papier Plume, beautiful <laughs> for people like us who love notebooks, calligraphy, ink, wax, everything you can imagine is at that store. It's um, on Royal Street, really, really a great place to stop. And oh, Mr. Otis, Bottom Cup Tea Room. If you want to have a really fun New Orleans tarot card reading, He's amazing. It's worth the experience just to hear him talk. He is authentic. Um, I'm not you know, confirming that his predictions are spot on per se, but the experience is truly unique. Um, and I really like the tea room. So I recommend that. JW Finn's, again, another restaurant off there um, over at Bourbon, um, not far from Bourbon. Really, really beautiful food, tasty. And that's my little flip through of my New York in New Orleans Travel Journal. I really saved those places for this journal because it's, well, this is mine, my name. I really feel like this is, too, they're just two of my favorite places. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like and subscribe if you did. Ciao for now.